morning to you this morning. Rachel Peniche joins us uh, this morning. She is the executive director of Friends of Vista Hill, and you guys are hosting a virtual fashion show. This is going to be the 29th year that you guys are hosting this fashion show. It's going to be a lot different. Uh, Rachel, tell us uh, a little bit about uh, Vista Hill and the fashion show. Great. Thank you for having me, and it's great to see you, even though we can't be together. Um, this is our 29th annual year of hosting this fa fashion show as a fundraiser for all of our fabulous programs at Vista Hill. We are a nonprofit organization that's been right here in San Diego serving approximately 25,000 people in the areas of mental health, substance use disorder, and intellectual and developmental disabilities. We have about two, two dozen different programs throughout the county, and we're just really honored to be here to serve the most vulnerable, especially during this very unsettling time. So instead of canceling the fashion show, uh, you know, the show must go on, but it's going to be a little exactly. different. Yeah, when is it? And tell us how people can be up, can watch it. Thanks. So yes, it's going to be Friday tomorrow at 1 p.m. And you can just go to our Vista Hill website, which is vistahill.org. And there'll be a button right on the home page that'll tell you where to go. You just click on it, it takes you right to the live fashion show. And it's really a launch for a five-day shopping opportunity from our fabulous boutique vendors who will be giving a percentage back of their proceeds to, to Vista Hill. And we have fabulous and wonderful things to give for Mother's Day. If you haven't shopped yet for your mothers, your wives, your daughters, your sisters, your granddaughters, this is the opportunity to shop for a cause. And uh, we have a very generous $20,000 match. So all donations and uh, boutique purchases will be matched up to $20,000. And we're just delighted to have this opportunity to be in people's home in the comfort of their own home and be able to join us. Um, so we're saying this is your opportunity to be ready to be seen. Yeah, well, what's different about this year is obviously it's virtually, but, you know, usually uh, you have, you know, local people in the community who, who come by and watch the fashion show. But really, it could be the entire world that can be a part of this. Exactly. Event. We've gone international overnight. So it's really a great opportunity to get people involved from all over and we're excited. And so we invite you personally, Stella, we hope you'll join us and all of your guests and uh, those watching to, to join us tomorrow. And also, um, exactly, tell us what we can expect as far as the fashion goes, how many models we can expect to see. Yeah, so we have five different boutique vendors participating in the actual show, but we have more who you can purchase from online. And we will be social distancing. There might be some masks involved, little uh, sneak preview there. But we have... Um, five different local participants, and they are B Boutique, Icons, Jacqueline B, Shanae Boutique, and of course, the Tory. And they all have wonderful variety of different things, and we're looking forward to showing those off. So we'll have three models, and we'll have five different segments with music, and each scene will be themed, just like we do at our regular fashion show. We anticipate that the show will be about 35 minutes long. Okay, you know, on all seriousness, we really want the community to come together because this really does help you with, you know, all the good you do for the community and all the programs. Thank you. Yes, we're really seeing an increase, as you can imagine, a need during this time, and we want to be able to help people as much as possible in our community. And we've just been really um, honored to see how people have reached out and said, how can we help and our neighbors in need? And that's why we're so glad that we're here you know, we know that this time can be a trigger for people, especially those who have been traumatized. And so, you know, we want to be here to help them as much as possible. Rachel, thank you so much. And we'll post all the information on our website, cbs8.com. Thank you, Stella. And I hope to virtually see you tomorrow. Yes. <laughs>